Okay, is this thing on? Alright, what's going on guys? JJ Wilson here. In this particular video or audio, it's going to be a little different than what I normally do with my channel. I know right now I'm, I'm, I'm formatted to more like a gamer channel to a lesser degree anime even though I want to talk about one particular series so far. I think now that um, one series that I'm watching is over with now and I think come next week another series is going to end soon too. I think I'll make a, like a thoughts videos, a couple, of, maybe about one or two thoughts videos about them. That'll be uh, Baki and Gon Kamui. So uh, I think I'm going to talk about those when I get the chance later. If not this year, then definitely next year, like in January. But anyway, uh, this particular video of, or audio footage is going to be about uh, a video that I saw from another channel, another small YouTuber by the name of Arpanaka. And uh, I appreciate Arpanaka with his uh, fairness and and uh, well thought out, you know, opinions on the matter about uh, another YouTuber named Mad Bus Driver X. So for those that don't know, uh, Mad Bus Driver X is a YouTuber that's on the black sector, so to speak. For those that don't know, he does uh, basically promotions of interracial relationships, particularly of uh, black men in particular. And um. Uh, <clears throat> And so I was hearing about some of the things that Arbanaka was talking about. And overall, it was a really good video. Uh, it's pretty long. It's like 30 minutes. I, I listened to it while I was out shopping and everything. But the main thing that was kind of brought up was whether or not th this guy that promotes uh, black men getting with non-black women uh, of all races other than his own so-called female, the black female, whether or not he was... This guy MBD was actually a racist, or was he a self-hater? And uh, I actually brought up his name on Arpanaka's other video uh, called Hispanics vs. Black Men. And uh, you can kind of go back to his video on his channel, Arpanaka, about that. And uh, I made like three long paragraphs on it. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but, uh, but yeah, I actually brought up the name. Uh, I actually brought MBD's name, not to, not to criticize him or anything, but just talking about another YouTuber who I won't mention. But anyway, uh, so that accusation came out whether or not the guy was being a racist for, you know, down downplaying or quote unquote bashing. Even though compared to other YouTubers out here in the black sector, I don't think he doesn't bash nearly as bad. He it's, it's not even bashing really. I guess the only reason they say it's bashing is because uh, he calls them. When I first watched him, he used to call uh, these particular females, these black females, big booty bimbos. <laughs> he used to call them that, and uh, and now uh, ever like from time to time, he he end up losing his old channels and stuff. Like he got banned on YouTube by because of his content, which hasn't really changed all that much. It's pretty much the same stuff, but. You know, certain people out there got so offended by it, they just they just wanted to get rid of him, you know. <laughs> and like I said, he he doesn't troll or bash or do anything like that. He's just displaying his content. He's giving his preferences and his philosophy on why he's doing it. And just people just, for whatever reason, man, they just get salty and offended by it. And I say it's really a little about nothing. I mean, if you put it like this, if you think it's been such a crime for him to display these couples... You know, and they're not saying anything about it. But you got a problem with it. I mean, dang, you you must you must really want to get this guy off the air. You want him to get offline completely. You ready to you ready to like put put him in a jail cell someplace? You ready to call the FBI on him? FBI, open up. <laughs> but yeah, uh, about the the term the old term big booty bimbo. But yeah, that term was a more derogatory towards the black female but now he changed it up now it's scraggle daggle so he's like well does that mean the same thing well it's to interpretation you know because like i said that's why it's bm or save yourself black man that's more like a philosophy to me more so than a movement you kind of take it as you will some guys i think when they hear that they, they kind of take it to a completely different stance from the way i do and um Basically, my interpretation of SYSBM is uh, 
you don't necessarily have to deal what you're dealing with like as far as the uh pre the predominant you know black culture so to speak like within your black households or even your black communities you know you can you can actually look at other things you can explore other options as far as like going out with a female and stuff so it doesn't necessarily have to be a stereotypical like just because you look a certain way you have to date this certain female you know that's pretty much all he he's suggesting you know like and he's real big on travel uh as a matter of fact he just did that he actually traveled to the caribbean he went to these islands like uh the grand cayman islands and he went to an island off honduras called Roatan, and he also went to uh belize and he, he actually got on a tour with the guy in the cab and uh he was showing him around and everything like about the country and stuff so you got to learn about belize you know so that's one thing that's one thing I do respect about MBDX. He he does practice what he preaches, so he's real big on guys traveling, you know, and experiencing different cultures and things like that. Seeing new things. But uh yeah, the scraggledaggle, so what's exactly scraggledaggle? It's not just referring to like a particular female. It's refer it, it can refer to everybody really, even men. That just have a well I should say a sewer mentality. They just think you know about people very very lowly they kind of they kind of act real stuck up you know mean-spirited always looking for drama those kinds of things you know people that no matter what they just got to be negative all the time and they can never be satisfied with anything you know very very greedy very very selfish that's why i kind of view as a scraggledaggle and yes that can also apply to men art it can also apply to uh guys <laughs> Who, well, they not realize that they also have uh, feminine traits, you know. They're getting mad about stuff that shouldn't be, they shouldn't really get offended by, you know. That's that's my view of a scraggadella. But, of course, I'm not necessarily trying to defend MBDX. <coughs> you know, he's a grown man. He has a family. He has wife and children. He actually took his wife and children down there on vacation. So, I might, if possible, I might have him see that video that you did. You know, uh, I might get his attention to see and hey, check out this video. What do you think about it? You know, to kind of address this. Also, the the self hate thing. You you allude to that he he was a self hater, and I, I know you weren't necessarily referring to him per se, but like <coughs> you're referring to uh, just the average uh, black male in general, like how they grew up with uh, moms, I guess. I suppose single mothers. I mean that can be that can be somewhat true for some guys, but uh, I think with MBD's case, he actually grew up in a two-parent household. Cause I remember he did a video years ago. He he had talked about uh, how he moved from up north, coming down south, you know, with his mom and dad. And uh, his, I believe his father is still in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. Cause I think he used to be in the military. I think the Navy. I think I, I'm not 100% on that. If MBD sees this uh, message, he'll he'll probably respond. Maybe. But yeah, I I know for a fact he didn't grow up in a single parent household. So I guess the next question would be, how would you address those guys that want to, I guess, quote unquote, day out, either by preference or it's because they got scorned by black women? How would you explain that dynamic if uh, they actually grew up with the dad? You know, I think that would be a rather interesting topic, you know, to uh, tackle. Uh, what else? Uh, you, you said quite a bit in that video. Um. Oh yeah, his brand. He talked about uh, why if he if he wanted to talk about other different things because he's a technically MBD is still a small YouTuber because he only has like six thousand subs right now. I think in the uh before he got kicked off during the so-called purge on black male YouTubers. He actually had more than that. I, I can't remember how many subs he had. He had about, uh, how many subs did he have? He had like maybe 15,000 or 20,000? No, I think he had close to 10,000. But right now it's at 6,000. That's still not really big. Because you know, you know how big YouTubers, they'll have like hundreds of thousands of subs, man. Like those are the big YouTubers. They get all sorts of people watching this stuff. But you're right, uh... You know, when we have small channels like this, we're more honest about ourselves. We can actually speak our minds about things, you know. Because we know not that many people are going to view it anyway. 
or even listen to it. They'll even take the time to listen to it. They, they look at our subscriber account and they think, oh, man, he sucks. <laughs> you know? Oh, man, look at this content. He's one of, he has like a 50 subs, 100 subs. Man, screw him. He ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> That's kind of how it is. That's kind of how it is. But um, you're right. Like once you get like a certain subscriber count, you kind of lose. You kind of lose yourself in a way. You're right. Uh, you end up talking about things that your audience wants to hear rather than what you want to hear yourself. And you're trying to be honest about yourself. You know, you're trying to grow as a person. You can't really do that when you, once you built that brand up. And the main reason why those guys are giving you all those clicks is because, you know, they're trying to see, you know, in MBD's case, they're trying to see those high girls. And that, that was like me initially. But, you know, and like you say, uh, the grass isn't always green on the other side. Yeah, I, I've been through that even while watching MBD stuff. But some other guys don't know that, you know. They're still naive about it, you know. And uh, it kind of goes back to the one uh, guy that criticized MBD. I remember a video I was watching. He had to check some dude uh, who kind of criticized him for putting up all this content up. Once again, a black male. That, and that's another thing. It's mainly people that look like him that dox him. Or they, they don't necessarily dox him, but, you know, they flag his content. It's not, it's not even non-black people. It's just other black YouTubers or just people that don't make content, but they have channels. They come in there and they start flagging that stuff down just because they don't like what they're seeing. And I think that's uncalled for and unfair, you know. They're not playing. They're not playing fair at all. But uh, let me go back to the story. So basically, this dude, uh, I think he learned Japanese, and he went to Japan. And uh, uh, I guess for whatever reason, his uh, dating experiences up there weren't good. I don't know if he was seeing a chick or he was talking to her online, but it didn't turn out the way he thought it would. And and because of that he got scorned and stuff. He he was really upset. And then he saw MBD's video. He just went off on the guy. And MBD had to check him for that, you know. He's like, I'm not this, I'm not this YouTuber that <clears throat> is gonna tell you, you know, the steps on how to get a woman. You know, that's not what he's about. Like he's just there to, you know, spread the idea about uh, you exploring your options as far as like getting with somebody of another culture or or another ethnic group. That's basically it. But they, they kind of take that as something bigger than that. They're trying to spin it off as, as something that's not. And uh, let me go back to the whole self-hate thing. You know, the whole self-hate thing, I think, for whatever reason, that's always a stigma against the black male. I really, I, maybe I haven't looked hard enough on YouTube or on social media, but I never hear the same talking point against any other ethnic group or race of male other than the black male. Like... For some odd reason, <laughs> there's always got to be this extra criticism of a guy that, of a black male that dates out, so quote unquote, and, <clears throat> sorry, I got a bit, I'm under the weather, that's why I'm talking hoarse like this, but for whatever reason, it, it it's like a penalty, man, you know, foul on the play, you must not like yourself as a man because you're dating this other female and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's, it's always, more often not, it's the, it's the punching bag of social media, the black male, instead of, you know, any other guy. If there's any other guy that's dating outside of his group, it's no big deal. So, you know, it's a, it's a passable play, I guess, in sports. <laughs> yeah, but I'm kind of all over the place on this video. This is more like a response type video. But, uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> but, yeah, uh. I do appreciate the shout out that you gave me. But yeah, right now my channel is kind of a gamer channel. But eventually I do kind of want to make other videos too. Uh, I'm also into martial arts too. I, uh, I, got a, I got a black belt in Taekwondo and I'm also doing other martial arts on the side too. But uh, I put all, I'll put all those videos on Facebook when I get a chance. I don't put them on YouTube. I got one video on... Not on this channel, but it's on my backup channel that I have a martial arts video that I did. And I did that for graduate school when I was in there. But uh, that's basically it. Like right now, my channel is just games and anime. So for all the guys that watch uh, my videos for games and anime, you don't necessarily have to watch this video. But you know, it does make for an interesting conversation nonetheless. I, I just kind of had to put that out there. 
Um, if you want to continue discussion in the comment section of art, you uh, feel free to do so. But yeah, I just kind of want to clear air on that a little bit as best as I could. But anyway, that's it from here. And uh, until next time.